Who are you? Nobody. I exist only to bring disorder that is my purpose. Don't try our patience. The game is not yet over. I gambled with God and made him a jack-in-the-box. I shall crush this miserable world. I challenge you to a game. Accept the challenge. You have no choice. I came to this universe with such delight. And I played them all, Doctor. I toyed with supernovas, turned galaxies into spin tops. I gambled with God and made him a jack-in-the-box. I made a jigsaw out of your history. Did you like him? The master was dying and begged for his life with one final game. And when he lost, I sealed him for all eternity inside my gold tooth. There's only one player I didn't dare face. The one who waits. Who's that? I saw it, hiding, and I ran. What do you mean? <laughs> That's someone else's game. What shall we play? One request, tell me. The human race, back in the future, why does everyone think they're right? So that they win. I made every opinion supreme. That's the game of the 21st century. They shout, and they type, and they cancel. So I fixed it. Now everybody wins. And everyone loses. The never-ending game. Now name your challenge. The simplest game of all. Let's cut. Highest card wins. Ace is high. You choose. I'll go first. But he'll cheat. No, she. That's the one thing he won't do. But they're his cards. It's all tricks. Of course he'll cheat. The only rules the toy maker follows are the rules of the game. They bind his entire existence. I win or I lose, and that's it. Then play. My turn. I'm the king. And now, my kleine doctor, we will see what is my prize. One. All. I won the game. Many years ago, you won today. Which leaves us equal. And you know, two players are bound by one inviolable rule. Best of three. Best of three. Then let's make it 2023. Donna! I'm already running!
<laughs> Who was playing that piano? The chorus of ancient songs calls me maestro. And who are you? Because I heard music. <laughs> and music is mine! I take it this is your domain? Who are you? Nobody. I am nothing. Any chance you could be a bit less cryptic? It's hard for me to make you understand. Ephemeral minds are so limited. Patriarchs of the Tin Vagabond, I stopped them all from taking over the Earth. What happened to them? I turned them all away. All I need is the meteor. Why? What's so special about that? Those other species, they invade for profit, power, revenge. The meteor is pure chaos. The destruction of the Earth for no reason at all. Just blind chance. This is food for me. Destroy all life on Earth. You don't even care. I care about you. You are so wonderful, Sarah Jane Smith. Your life was so important, and I found the right moment to snuff it out with the help of Andrea Yates. Andrea was my friend. She wished to save her own life. I could only remove you with her consent. She agreed to me. I must go now. Events are moving towards their end. No, don't go! I will return when the Earth is no more, and I will explore your potential further. In particular, your memories of this doctor. You leave him alone. I can use you to find him. Imagine 
If the Doctor had never existed, what chaos there would be across the stars. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! If I destroy this planet, I destroy the gravity field. The rocket. The rocket loses protection and falls into the black hole. I have to sacrifice Rose. <laughs> Escape, but there's a thousand ways it could have killed us. It could have ripped out the air or, I don't know, burnt us or anything. But it let us go. Why? Unless it wanted us to escape. Hey, Rose, do us a favor. Shut up. Almost there. We're beyond the reach of the black hole in 40, 39. So that's the trap. Well, the test of the final judgment, aren't I? But if I kill you, I kill her. Except that implies, in this big grand scheme of gods and devils, that she's just a victim. But I've seen a lot of this universe. I've seen fake gods and bad gods and demigods and would-be gods. Not all that. Out of that whole pantheon. If I believe in one thing, just one thing, I believe in her. What happened? What was that? What's he doing? What is he doing? We've lost the funnel. Gravity collapse. What does that mean? We can't escape. We're heading straight for the black hole. Shadows and your changelings. I never thought we'd actually meet. And I know the legends of the Doctor. A man of ice and fire. Walked among gods. 
once held the key to time in his hands. Now, he is surrounded by children. They're my friends. Which reminds me, you're looking a bit lonely for a pantheon. I embody multitudes. But who are you? The man who has lost everybody to talk to me of loneliness. When the gate is waiting for you. What do you mean? <laughs> Sarah Jane Smith is my prize. Even you, Doctor, didn't realize how wonderful she is. What do you want with her? What I always want for many of those I visit. Her agreement. Goodbye, Doctor. wedding ring goes on, then she's agreed to it. She's totally under the trickster's power. Marital bliss, but she forgets all about this. She starts living a new life. Forgetting about her old life. Protecting the Earth. And the planet's wide open, so aliens can just barge in. Without Sarah, without you lot, saving the world from your attic and eating. Big chaos and destruction. We can drink to the trickster. As if she's gonna say yes. But she will, won't she? Because we're here. TARDIS! Beautiful, yes! It's homing in on me! The emergency program protecting the pilot. Of course! Master materialization? What's happening? Look! That's pure Arthron energy! TARDIS power! You pull up to the trickster's power! That's how we can fight! You're right. Yeah. I think he'll come back for us, won't he? What if he can't? He will. I'll wait here for him. You check with K9. Who am I? There is the toy maker of the god of games. There is Trickster, the god of traps. There is Maestro, the god of music. There is Reprobate, the god of spite. There is the Marvel, the god of beasts. And the threefold deity of malice and mischief and misery. Warning! Manifestation! There are gods of skin and shame and secrets. There is incense, the god of disaster. And her children who doubt and dread. And standing on high, is the mother and father and other of them all. Whatever it is, here it comes. For the god of all gods has returned to me, and his names are many. His name has been Set, and Seth, and Sithafar, and his one true name forevermore is... Look 
god of death. I am the night. I am the terror. I am the loss. And all life will perish at my hand. There you are. We thought you'd got lost. Who are you? I'm called the Doctor. Why do you involve yourself? Because I share the Kinder's aim where you're concerned. I now control the Kinder. Well, you did for a while, but no longer. I still control them. I am Alice. I have voice! Yes, so I hear. But it is the voice of Amara in the body of Aris. The snake on your arm, the symbol of your power, confirms it. Then take care that that power doesn't enter you. Oh, you're too late. Now! Ah! 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 Ready to pull Aris clear the moment the snake leaves his arm. <laughs> Hold the mirror straight. What's happening? The Mara is detaching itself. What? It's leaving Aris. It has no further use for him. Circle! Close the gaps! The circle must be kept closed. If the circle is closed, the Mara cannot escape. It's fantastic! Where does it draw its energy from? It's incredible! Yes. I had that in my mind. Yes. But it's gone now, isn't it, Doctor? It's all right. It's all right. Stand firm. Look, it's starting to weaken. Look. He'll be all right. Why do such things exist? Who can tell? Amara's gone. Back to the dark places of the inside, or wherever. But not here, not anywhere here. This world is free of it. And of its curse. Curse? Yes. What curse? Curse of time. It is the Mara which starts the clocks. Come on, it's finished. It's too late. They won't drive off and you won't make them. 
Ron, he's right. I will kill my own mum and dad. I can't do it. He's beaten me. Victoria! If we get in the car and drive away right now, then that's the end of that thing under the arch. I know I'm right. Oh, you can't. You mustn't go. We've got to. But not Sarah Jane. Not our baby. Take her. Look after her. This is why they left that day. They didn't abandon you, Mum. They saved you. One thing, though, it's important. Sarah Jane, our baby, is... Is she safe? Does she have a good life? Yes. So many incredible things, that things you wouldn't believe. Oh, God. Got to, though, haven't we? Like he worked any of it out. I said, didn't I? I don't understand it. But sometimes the heart knows things the mind can't explain. <laughs> Dan. Come here. <laughs> Look at you. Older than us. And you came all that way to see us. I thought you'd left me behind. I never knew you. I never had the chance. It was so unfair. Who said life was fair, eh? I tried so hard to resist the temptation. I knew the dangers, but I just couldn't stop myself. I had to see you. I'm so glad you did. So am I. Goodbye, Sarah Jane. Goodbye, Sarah Jane. Goodbye, Dad. I won't forget you. I'll never forget you. Saving the world. Something we Smiths can't help doing. But you, you couldn't do it. I knew you could never do it. You were right. I couldn't send them off. But you didn't count on one thing. They were brilliant. They worked it out. They went by themselves. My mum and dad defeated you. <laughs> put things back on track. We've got to leave her. When you no longer entertain us, you die. Predictable as ever, gods of Ragnarok. As I think has been said before, I wasn't after. Anyway. You ain't seen nothing yet. Backpack! Where's the doctor? Back at the circus! Are you on your own now? Not exactly. Look! <sighs> That's what they're after. Oh, I might have guessed. So how do we get it back to the doctor? Oh, Dumbo! Not you two, me. I've got an idea. Come on! Wrong way! Look for this! Come on, Kate Finn! Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for that overwhelming reception. And now I would like to begin like life at the beginning. Well, how did life begin? Was it with a chicken? Or was it with... What? Don't 
try our patience. Don't play games. You're not interested in beginnings. You're only interested in endings. Oh, no, not that thing again. Come on. Dumbo. Bellboy's robot. Dead right, Kingpin. <laughs> Bellboy's greatest mistake. What a place to choose. You may have the eye again, deadbeat, but you won't use it. You know that. You're not strong enough! You weren't before. At least I tried. You just gave in. Yes, and I shall get my reward. Last chance, deadbeat. Do we really believe in all that talk of peace and love? This thing had better work or I'll kick its head in. <laughs> For a moment, I thought you weren't going to be able to make it stop. Funny you should say that. He used to be a great clown. I've never liked clowns. What? No complaints? No arguments? No thunderbolts? No, Doctor. We're not concerned that you're playing for time. We have a saying. Let me guess. Give yourself enough rope and you hang yourself. As long as we defeat you. That's all I care. You can't beat us now. We shall see. Well said, my boy. Well said. Well said. He doesn't even know what he is saying. These adolescent expressions of loyalty. Before you make puerile promises, remember the past. Your little adventures. Remember my power. Your power? We won through, didn't we? Perhaps. But would you dare to play those little games again? Not until I've laid hands on you. Oh, it's no use, Stephen. Leave him. Are you all right? I couldn't touch him. He's using his mind to turn your strength against yourself. Now, go back into the TARDIS. I will deal with him. Doctor, I offer you power. Power to corrupt, to destroy. Think of the exhilaration of that power. Serve me and live. Never. Never, my friend. <laughs> you have been defeated. We will see, old man. The game is not yet over. We shall see. What have you done? Stop meddling with my ship. It isn't what I have done, but what you have not done. You must finish the game. You cannot leave here until you have. Your infantile behavior is beyond a joke. No. Of course, I mustn't. You very nearly caught me then, hmm? Make your last move, Doctor. Make your move. But if I do, this place vanishes, hmm? And then you have won completely? And if this place vanishes, then the TARDIS and the rest of us will vanish also. Hmm? Correct. That is the price of success. Make your last move, Doctor. Make your last move. I have won my freedom, Horace. Your curse is lifted. 
now begins the reign of Sutek the Destroyer. I shall crush this miserable world and hurl it into the outermost depths of space. My vengeance starts here. a temporal trap, Sutek. Time, Lord. I shall destroy you. I shall destroy you. How long do Asylums live, Sutek? Release me. Ever. You're caught in the corridor of eternity. Release me, insect, or I shall destroy the cosmos. You're a thousand years beyond the 20th century now, Sutek. Go on for another 10,000. Spare the planet Earth! I'll give it to you as a plaything! Release me! No, Sutek. The time of the Osirens is long past. No! Go. You lived about 7,000 years. He's dead. Sutek is dead. At last. Look, I know that's the time control from the TARDIS, but what did you do? I moved the threshold of a time-space tunnel into the far future. He could never have reached the end. After the hour was broken, I realized that we had little more than two minutes to get back here. But how... The time radio waves take to pass from Mars to Earth. Oh. So the Eye of Horus was still holding Sutek for two minutes after it was broken. Yes. <laughs> you know, the Egyptians called him the Typhonian Beast. Doctor! That was careless of me. I forgot a thermal balance would equalize. Listen, this Priory was burnt to the ground, remember? Yes. Perhaps it is time we were leaving. We don't want to be blamed for starting a fire, do we? No. We had enough of that in 1666. <laughs>
little photocopy business in Merchant Street and he needs a secretary. I've got a job. H.C. Clements is in the city. It's nice, it's posh, so stop it. <laughs> Long, just turn right. <gasps> I'm going left. If you don't like it, get out and walk. <gasps> you think I'm so useless? Oh, I know why you want a job with H.C. Clements, lady. Because you think you'll meet a man. <gasps> We're all going together. You're gonna die. City executives don't need temps except for practice. Yeah. I suppose you're right. Please. Well, that decides it. I'm not sitting in a traffic jam. I'm going left. I'm going left. Left, 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 left. Destroyer! The Lord God of Death itself! You win! <laughs> 
pride myself that I am better than you. Because if you're dead, then I must represent life. Surely that's what I am. Life. And that's how you win, Sute. Because you turned me into this. I am the one that brings death. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.